Hello, everybody. This is Oscar from Retiring Panama Tours. We're going to do an uh, interview some of good friends of ours that came with us in January 2022. So this is the beautiful home that they're renting in Volcan City area in Boquete. And we just wanted to say hi to them for you to uh, see them and see, share their experience. So. How do you guys find us? I, we started researching leaving the United States for a number of years and decided to look in Panama. I looked around. I saw a couple of different options um, that was available um, for tours and the ones that you guys were offering uh, seemed to meet what we were looking for best of all. Nice. And how you guys felt during the tour, like the, the whole logistics, the experience? <laughs> You guys get to learn quite a bit about Panama. I know we had quite a bit good times in the tour. <laughs> we had some great times. And there's one question I will never forget is the salmon fresh, <laughs> which cracked us all up. But no, the experience of the tour itself was fabulous because, uh, I mean, we learned a lot. You showed us the whole, I mean, we went all over the country. Plus, we got to tour in, like, in uh, Panama City. We toured in Old Town. Yeah. So that was neat. And then when we got up here, we got to see the um, Tuesday market. But in between, we got to talk with other expats, the lawyers, the real estate people, doctors, insurance. I mean, just everybody. Yeah. And you guys, would you guys move here fully last year, huh? August last year. Mm -hmm. August last just year. one year now. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great because this place you guys found out. It's a, by, the, by the way, this is a prime location where they're living right now. And you can see a little bit there with the view of the volcano. They have farms here, potato farms and onions and some other farms in the house. So it's, it's amazing as well. You guys look at with this house. We sure did. And it's the real estate agent you introduced us to. Because awesome. what we did in between the time we took the tour with you and moved here is we came back a couple of times and we kept in touch with people that, Y'all had introduced us to. How you guys feel about our follow up after the tour? You guys felt like we were taken care of. Of course, I'm no pressure off because. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh no, absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, we yeah. wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Rod's help bringing Al Al the cat. Yeah. Because the U.S. screwed up royally. Uh, both the F, who was it? Not the FDA. FedEx. FedEx. Or FedEx, FedEx but, the FDA. They both delayed. Rod and I talk almost every day about it, yeah. back and forth and back and forth. And he made sure that when we got to the airport, everything was taken care of. And Pat's here now, and and everybody settled in. That's awesome. Yeah. We're very really happy you guys had such a good experience through the process, and also they felt like we fulfilled. We we still, you know, because you guys know that. Anything they might need any assistance, we're here for you. Oh, absolutely. During yeah. that year, during the time of transition, I mean. <laughs> You know, you and I just talked a lot about, we, we worked on getting the cars, Yeah. you know, and, and helping, working with the lawyer, making sure that things were done. Yeah. And, you know, um, the lawyer and her, the firm has been fabulous. Fabulous. For us, Absolutely you know? fabulous. Yeah, we've done everything with them. We've had people say, oh, I can do it myself. And I go, I wouldn't if I were you. I would, you know, it's worth every penny that we've spent. And it's not been a lot of money, but it's been worth every penny yeah. knowing that everything is going to happen when it's supposed to happen, where it's going to happen. And then all we have to do is show up and sign, you know, and be there and take pictures and everything else has been taken. And enjoy, so, just relax, you know, enjoy yeah. the journey. I mean, the day we got our e-sedulas, <coughs> they were protesting in Panama City, but luckily, um, who, Maria? Maria, Maria had a, a driver already arranged. He knew how to get over to where we needed to be, the tribunal building, without going through the protest. And then when we got there, we we were pretty current on our Spanish at that time, uh, but not I was not really good. And we had followed all the rules, you know, don't wear white, don't wear your hair down, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. When I got to go get my picture made, the guy started yammering at me, and I had no and he was not happy. I have no idea what he was saying, but Maria heard him. She came in. She said. You need, I have three holes. Oh. And even though I was wearing studs, you're not supposed to wear but one pair. Oh, I see. So she said, you got to take your earrings out. And so I just took them all out. Yeah. And, 
Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it can be a little specific. But that's why I'm glad we used a lawyer yeah. is because without Maria there, I yeah. had no clue what this guy was saying. Yeah. Just like, huh? Oh, the hummingbird. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's hummingbird feeder right there. So we have a lot of hummingbirds. Uh, and then right now, what's your life like in, in Boquete? Mm -hmm. You know, we stay busy with stuff. I mean, I there's there's an active sporting group here. I mean, there's pickleball. They're building a paddle, two paddle centers. I know, there's two paddle centers. Two paddles. There's, you know, people bike ride. There's hiking. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, we, we hike every week in the in the park. At the, no, we don't hike. We walk. We walk in the park, <laughs> you know, um, which is a great park. And it's a great mm -hmm. thing. I mean, it just opened right before we moved. And yeah. We take it, and Everybody should take advantage of that park. I know. Um, this this uh, be a beautiful asset. It has been in a nice collaboration between some experts that have been here for over 20 years. Yeah, and then there's, we, we take advantage of volunteer, op you know, um, opportunities. We both, we both volunteer with Buenas Vecinas de Boquete, uh, volunteer with uh, Boquete Health and Hospice. Um, who else? BCP. BCP with the, with the theater group now. So there's plenty of things to do mm -hmm. and if you want to or yeah. i guess yeah. there are people that just want to get out and sit on the porch like this and do nothing all day and that's okay too it's well a, it's a, not a, it, it, there are worse places to do it than book it let me tell you if i was living in this place i will do that every day I just sit here outside just watching and then uh, watch it rain or watch a mountain watch your clouds yep, because yep. this place is just peaceful oh, during the dry yeah. season you know last last you know fall and winter um, we we had breakfast out here almost every night. Did dinner out here every night. It gets a little wet, you know. Yeah, it does. Know, even with the and then when it got too windy, then we'd go inside. But for the most part, no, we spend most of our time out here on the mm -hmm. porch. Yeah, uh, because it, it's and it's, when it's, I'm teaching, I'm upstairs and my there's a window and I face the farm that's at the other side of the house and it's just fabulous to watch what's going on there and, yeah. and to watch the crops change and to. Um, watch how the farmer rotates and things. So it's just really neat. And that's something else because we have good internet connection and I'm assuming it's good in all of Book Ethic. Uh -huh. uh, so I still teach between three and six classes every term back in the U.S. That's great. That's beautiful. This is like a, it's such a sweet deal in this location because you feel like a have the farm experience but without doing the farming. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So we, the peaceful, the green, the lushness, mm -hmm. seeing the crops, seeing everything, but you don't have to get dirty. You say, hey, neighbor, can you give us a potato? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. One, uh, yeah. our landlord's brother, has offered us part of his produce. Yeah. And, He's brought over. Yeah, oh, and that's, that's been so really sweet. nice. That's yep. so sweet. We, um, it is. Yeah, for, you, you talk about feeling safe. We've, we've not had an issue here. Um, you know, um, it, it is a neighborhood. It's, you know, it's a mixture. This street is, road is a mixture of you know, both uh, Panameños and, and expats. Um, and I don't want to say everybody looks out for each other, but it just seems to be everybody's, you know, yeah. minds their business and, and keeps out. Keeps yeah. out. So mm -hmm. we haven't had that issue. Um, uh, but produce, you know, we can, there are certain things you can't find here, um, but we've learned you don't really need, you didn't need them. Yeah. You know, but it's not been that much. We've always been able to find all the products, all the foods, all the things. And then we take advantage of all the, Fresh, fresh fruits and vegetables yep. that we can get. You know, I try to buy most of them at the the, the, the Mercado in town. Mm -hmm. You know, as opposed to the grocery stores. You yeah. Know, buy the local. Um, if my Spanish was better and I was faster, I would take advantage of the drive driving the truck. But by the time <laughs> I you hear him and understand what he's saying, he's usually gone, so I don't get a chance to stop him with that. But. You know, yeah, that, that one is a little tricky, but sometimes it's the what kind of produce is bringing. Right, right. You see the hammer, it's the guy that picks up the, mm -hmm. this guy that picks up scrap also. And I, by the time I realize which one it is, I can't get out on the street fast enough because <laughs> we're, you know, a few hundred feet off the road. But. You have to get another megaphone. Let's yeah. Like, Wait. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Well, you guys, uh, what is the, what message will you give to someone that are watching this video? They're probably making a judgment based on this video. What you guys will say something to those say, oh should i do the tour should i do the tour should i go with these guys definitely a tour is helpful mm -hmm. i i think um because the work is already done for you you just have to sit there and relax and yeah. listen and take it in keep your notes uh, that's something i did was wrote notes on the tour and so when we went back home and we couldn't remember yeah you know, there they were 
Yeah. Yes. We didn't have it written down. Yeah. We were contacted you guys. I mean, right. we probably got tired of hearing from us, but you know, it, we never felt like we were imposing. You no. know, you never made us felt like you know, quit calling us or things. Yeah. You know, I would I would write or I would call or send a WhatsApp and say, you know, what about this? What about that? And always got a response back. You know, pretty quickly. And even um, the pre-tour service was wonderful because we came when it was my birthday. So Danny had been in touch with Megan unbeknownst to me yeah. for a couple of months arranging that surprise birthday party the <laughs> last night we ate dinner together that was fun i remember that but yeah. to add to what ellen's is, is is i mean it is a bit you, you guys have your business you do a great job running a business but we never we never got a feeling that we were just customers right um you know or just you know just just uh, you know a, a a a dollar bill you yeah. know it was you you know we, we felt like you guys wanted to take care of us wanted to you know to help us make the right decision yeah um because it's a big decision I mean, it is you know, make, you know leaving you know it that is. we left having very limited you know spanish yeah you know um we've, we've taken lessons since we've been here which i would recommend to anybody yeah. and do mm -hmm. everything you possibly can yeah anything you know, to, to facilitate that, yeah you know to, to to but but um it's a, it's a huge decision even if you even if that's not an issue yeah and and you guys did a great job with that and never making us feel like we were, we were imposing, you know, and, and yeah, especially and when we make it successful. Make yes. It right. Yeah. Because our goal is for you guys to, if for everybody to just make sure the Panama is for you, where, where, whatever in name Panama, you know, for you guys, you pick Boquete, but uh, the truth is we never, like, we got to move to Boquete. No. Just get a see at everything, make your own judgment see what it works better for you. Yeah, yeah, okay. We, had, we, we had, knew we wanted to move to the mountains. We'd yeah. already been at the beach. We met in the mountains of North Carolina. We loved the mountains. So yeah. we knew we, so we the do. beach was not for us. And actually, but, we, when we were doing our research to leave the United States, we had looked at other countries. Yeah. And we thought we were going elsewhere. And then we came on the tour and we went, nope, this is where we're coming. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you guys so much for your, for your kind words. And, well, it's a good thing that we're neighbors. So we got to see each other. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, Ellen and Dan here in Boquete. If you're going in our tours in the future, remember we have some spots uh, next year, 2025, and we have in October. And also we, uh, we, would you get to meet them? You guys talk to them in person. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we wish you a happy Friday because today's Friday here in this moment. <laughs>